five things you need to know before moving to Rockford, Michigan. What's up guys? My name is Ruth Lang. I'm a local real estate agent here in the West Michigan area. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome, welcome. On my channel, I go over anything and everything that has to do with living here in West Michigan. So if you guys want to stay up to date and learn more, please smash that subscribe button and hit the bell notification. If you guys get anything from this video too, I would appreciate a little love and hit that like button as well. As much as I love making these videos, I love helping you guys move here more. So if you're looking to move here or move within here, please call or text the number below. Without further ado, let's get started. So number one, things to do. What are you going to do when you get here? So Rockford has a really great downtown area. The, one of the biggest draws is the Rockford Dam because we have the Rogue River, which is right behind me, that goes all the way through Rockford. So it's just really pretty to come visit. Even in the winter time, they have all the Christmas lights, the trees decorated. So it's just really pretty. So it's really great about having the Rogue River is that also includes fishing and kayaking right here in downtown Rockford. Also right along the Rogue River that goes straight through Rockford as well is the White Pine Trail. So the White Pine Trail starts in Comstock Park and goes all the way north to Cadillac. It's great for running, for biking, even just for walking in the downtown area. Rockford also has a lot of great boutique shops so it's really fun to just walk around downtown and shop at all the local shops. Also Rockford has a dog park which is great. My, I've taken my Great Danes there and they absolutely love it. They have like the large dog side and the small dog side which is great for people like me with Great Danes because most people don't want to be on, on the large side with me if they have smaller dogs. We also have a lot of playgrounds and parks which is great if you have kids. So as some of you may not know Michigan has over 11,000 inland lakes. Nine of those are in Rockford. Seven of them being all sports lakes. Just to name a few of them, we have Silver Lake, we have Wabasis, Pickerel Lake. I love Pickerel Lake because it has a nice hiking trail all the way around it. Also here in the Rockford, my personal favorite is the mountain biking trails. We have Luton and Merrill and not too far away, it's not technically in Rockford, we have Cannonsburg Ski Hill and also the Cannonsburg State Game area. Speaking of the ski hill, may not be that impressive to some of you guys that live out of state in Colorado, things like that, and have actual mountains. But for us locals, we absolutely love having Cannonsburg Ski Hill. It gives you that skiing adventure without having to go out of state. So we really have a little bit of everything here. One of the best things about Rockford is definitely the location. That's why so many people love this place is because and you have that small town feel, but you're so close to everything. You're about 15 minutes from downtown Grand Rapids, which has pretty much everything. And then it's about a 45 minute drive to Lake Michigan. And as far as shopping goes, Meyer is just outside of Rockford. Also not too far away is Alpine, which has all of your major shopping needs as well. So number two, food, where are you gonna eat? One of the, probably the most favorite restaurant downtown is the Corner Bar. It's a hot dog place but it's like a nice hot dog place if that makes sense but like I said definitely a local favorite they even have a competition if you guys like eating competitions you can if you eat 12 chili dogs you can get your name put on a plaque and then forever be put on the wall there Rockford also has Uccellos, marinades the Toasted Pickle, Grill 111. So just a lot of great places to eat. There's even a couple of ice cream shops. Um, I know Damn Dogs is right by the White Pine Trail along with the Custard's ice cream shop right next to it as well. So it's just really great to grab a hot dog, some ice cream, and then just walk around the dam. They also have a lot of good coffee shops. They have Sweetlands, they have Quick Water. One of my favorites happens to be Herman's Boys. Herman's Boys also has a bakery and they just have a lot of great food there. Just a really good vibe there as well. And of course, dun dun dun, breweries. West Michigan in Grand Rapids especially is you know we're known as Beer City USA. Rockford has two breweries, Rockford Brewing Company which is right downtown right along the White Pine Trail. They have a great outdoor space. They're actually just right over here not too far from the dam and the Rogue River as well. Just outside of town is Third Nature which is also a great spot which is really close to the White Pine Trail. So if you guys just want to ride your bike or go running and then stop and grab a beer you can. And also another great thing about Rockford is Aurora. Rockford Outdoor refreshment area. I don't know if it started during COVID. I believe it did. So what it is, is just stating that in certain designated areas, you can have alcoholic beverages outside. So as you're walking around downtown, a lot of the restaurants have come together and created this so you guys can enjoy those refreshments outside. Number three, the housing market. If you want to move here, you need to know what houses are going for. So as of December 2022, we are seeing an average price point of $390,000. Days on market, 27 
27 days. In the last 30 days, probably about 36 properties have sold, which is kind of low for Rockford. Usually they're more in the 70s to 80s, but with it being the winter time and we're right in the middle, we are right in the middle of Christmas and New Year's. So it does tend to slow down a little bit. Rockford's really great because it has a lot of subdivisions going all the way up into your higher end homes. So you really have a little bit of everything here. Number four, PFAS. What is it and why do we care? So this is one of those topics that we really don't want to talk about, but if you guys are looking to move here, you have to know. So PFAS had actually leaked into the water here in Rockford. What had happened was a company, Wolverine Worldwide, used to be set up just east of the Rogue River. They actually closed down in 2009 and the building was demolished in 2010 to 2011. Well, I don't know if they didn't have very good restrictions because the company had been in business for over a hundred years. But back then, I don't, again, like I said, I don't know if there was not as tight restrictions or things like that. So all the dump sites they had actually started breaking down and leaking into the groundwater. So in February 2022, a lawsuit was out against Wolverine for $70 million to remedy the situation. They're still in progress of fixing that problem. Is the water safe to drink? Yes, there is filtration systems in the homes that have been affected by PFAS. Not all of the homes were affected by it, a good portion were, but I just wanna let you guys know that yes, it is safe to drink the water here. But again, I definitely wanna keep you guys informed because again, if you're gonna move here, you need to know. So number five, last one, schools. Rockford is Blue Ribbon certified. They have 15 different schools from PK all the way through high school. They have almost 8,000 students that attend these schools. They have so many different sports to choose from. They even have competitive cheer, gymnastics, hockey, a swim team. They have so many great sports that your kids can partake in. Thank you so much for checking out my video. If you guys wanna stay up to date, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification. If you liked this video at all, please hit the like button. And again, I love making these videos, but I love helping you move here more. So please call or text the number below if I can help you make a move here in West Michigan. Until next time.